Let's say that half of the mistakes are in your technique and half of the mistakes are in your head. Something that not many players are trying to improve, but you have to. Because it is super important to get your way of thinking the right way. Today's video is about the pre-shot routine. This is where the shot starts. I'm Brando, World Snooker and EBSA coach. While you're choking your tip, before you go down on the shot, you have to be a true genius. You have to select the shot. You have to judge the angle. You have to decide what to play. And this is where things can go wrong. Because I've seen many mistakes even before the shot is played. Some of your mistakes are made even before the shot is played. And this is your pre-shot routine. It has to be the same on all shots, no matter if it's a long shot or an easy short ball. Firstly, you have to assess the table. I see that I have five reds nicely opened in the area of the pink and the black. And now I have to choose which red is the best to play for. In that case, this is the best red, the red which is next to the pink. First, because you can play in an area and if you overheat or underheat slightly, you have different options. You may be good on this red or on this one. Then, this red blocks the pink into the left corner. So it will be very nice if you open the pocket for the pink, so you have more options later in the break. The decision is made. I'm playing for this red. Now I have to make another decision, and this is how to get there. So I judge the angle. I see what angle I have on the blue. And now I have to decide how to get there how to position myself nicely for the next red. In that case, it's a shot which is between a stun and a screw. It's a mixed shot with medium pace. After all of that thinking, you kind of have to forget about it. Because if, if you're thinking too much about how to position yourself when you're down on the shot, that may cause a miss. Because when you're down on the shot, your head should be almost empty. The best players in the world, when they're down on the shot, they think about nothing. Very difficult to do, but that's another topic we are going to cover later in our videos. And the final part of your pre-shot routine should be to visualize the shot. Look at the blue, see the line from the blue to the pocket, standing right behind the line of the shot, right behind the cue ball, and then see the line of the cue ball finishing there nicely on that red we've chosen to play for. You forget all about this, you go down on the shot, and then you just play the shot. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you for watching.